guys, for the macaroni salad, really quick. Um, for every one pound of macaroni I do, I do one to two eggs. I already have the eggs in the pot of water, and I'll show you what I do there. I'm going to chop some onion, chop some celery. How much? I don't know. Ty put it in there. Mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. Please, one of the better macaroni salads, not just because it's my mother's recipe, but I know from people who don't even like macaroni salad, they love my recipe, which is really my mother's. So, and I think, honestly, mayonnaise has a lot to do with it. It's a very simple, it's, it's such a simple recipe, guys. You see it, that's it, pure ingredients, simple. Guys, I want to slow up my water. This is um, one egg. I need one more because for every one pound macaroni, I put one to two eggs. I want two eggs, so I need to go put my other egg in. I'm just going to salt the water for the macaroni. I got to watch what I'm doing in the pot. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go boil this on high, and I know I'm going to bring this uh, egg to a boil. It takes, I think, six minutes to cook the macaroni. So it's okay. So I'm going to bring the eggs to the boil. And then when I throw the macaroni in there, I'm going to keep the eggs and just boil it together. I want to say I'm doing a potato salad set, uh, recipe. I will post the link on the bottom. I'll post these two at the same time. I also have another one where I do potato macaroni salad almost about a year ago. It's where I'm introducing myself and saying who I am. It's when I first started. You can see that one too. Um, now this is boiling hot piping hot water, uh, macaroni. I just drained it. I work with it hot. So this is a pound of macaroni. I have two, you can use one, two hard boiled eggs that boiled in the same water. I'm gonna use celery. Again, guys, I'm using handfuls. You gotta taste, start out small. And I did at least four stalks of celery and I used the lightest colors I can get, like that pale yellow. Today, I do not normally use celery tops and I did not today the onion and this is it guys and mayonnaise salt and pepper this is it this is your recipe very simple I don't want those pieces in there gets no simpler than this it's just very clean basic ingredients and none of that funny stuff peppers or carrots or sugar or anything like that and if you use that that's fine but I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop here um, I can always add more and I can't take out. Now, I'm gonna, when I add the mayonnaise, I'm not going to put the full amount I norm, normally would be um, working with because the heat does break down your mayonnaise a little bit and it gets a little, um, I'm not, please don't think it gets like oil because it's not oil. It just breaks down a little bit. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Let me wash my hand. Now, I'm going to be careful when I add my salt because I salt my water so good that I don't either have to put salt in here or if I do, it's very little because you get the salt flavor from um, your macaroni. Because when you salt your water, it doesn't just, when you salt your water, it cooks through the macaroni. It penetrates your potatoes, your your rice, your your other grains, your um, grits. You know, but you know, your macaroni and potatoes is very important. Otherwise, if you put it on later, it just sits on the surface. So now I'm gonna add salt and pepper. Some salt. I'm just gonna use a little bit. That's it. So I want to taste it. And pepper. Again, my mother would be using white pepper, but I'm not. So now I'm gonna stir this. See how nice and hot it is. This is what you want. That steam coming off. Okay. And I'll be back. Guys, um, I tasted my macaroni to make sure it was cooked the way I want it. I'd rather have harder macaroni than soft, soggy macaroni. It was perfect with the salt. I tasted it. You saw I just added a pinch, a hair of salt. And I do think this is a tad right now because of the mayonnaise too. Ugh, borderline. I mean, borderline like where I would want to cook maybe another cook cup of macaroni and add it in here. I don't know. I got to let it cool down a little bit and taste it. This is all the mayonnaise I'm going to add. Believe it or not, it will dry up. Not a lot, but it will definitely, because I added a lot of mayonnaise. It's going to dry in a little bit. We'll be back when it cools. And I'll let you know about this all. Guys, no, it's fine. I just tasted it again, and it's fine. Maybe I didn't mix it too good the first time. I had a little bit of the salt sitting on top, and I took a bite of that. But no, it's good. Very good. And I'll tell you what, any more salt would have been 
maybe a little too much, but this is perfect. So, okay, that's it. I'll be back when this cools and dries up a little bit. Here's that macaroni salad. You can see it definitely has dried up somewhat. We can see that. Okay, it's drier than what it was. And this has only been sitting. Ken, please stop making all that noise. My goodness. Sorry. Um, but anyway, and it's only been sitting here, I think, for about a 45 minutes to that hour. So I'm just going to actually not add anything to it tonight, but I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. And let's give it a taste. Hang on. Believe it, my husband's right. You know what I thought? Oh my goodness, I put too much salt in. I did it. Guess what? I have to do a sprinkling. Just a little sprinkling, guys. Just like that. That's it. And I think I am going to do a little bit more mayonnaise. Now. And then we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, that should be good. Guys, there you go. In this one, I'm not going to put any paprika or um, parsley, but in my potato salad, I did. Um, but that's it, guys. So let's take a bite. Let me just do it right out of here. Okay, let's just do it now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this one off camera to, to actually put it in my mouth. Guys, this is my second bite right here just like home for me personally this is um home this is my mother's recipe just like the potato salad way before i was even born and i am 52 years old and i'll tell you what it tastes just like home and the, the macaroni is always cooked perfect um and again i'd rather go a little harder than got the bit a little too soft because i would do not like mushy soggy macaroni whatsoever no thank you um but guys, again, simple. It's mayonnaise, it's celery, it's onion, according to your own taste, not Lisa's taste, your taste. Salt and pepper and um, a hard boiled egg for every pound. I put either one to two hard boiled eggs in per pound. Mm, hang on. It's a spot on. And I promise you that everybody who does not eat macaroni salad, because I think people put peppers and they put sugar and they put sometimes cabbage and carrots in there and people don't like that this is just really pure ingredients and everybody I, and I promise you this who has not liked macaroni salad has liked my macaroni salad obviously you gotta eat you gotta like mayonnaise but they have liked it so i'm gonna wrap this up until tomorrow guys and listen i just want to say if you like first of all leave me a comment so i like to hear from you guys if you like the recipe give me a thumbs up i'm only gonna probably be doing recipes not that the holidays are over because i have a few more to bang out probably do about one a couple videos a week now if you hit that no, 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 the bell it will notify you of when I make that uh, video so you don't miss out on it and I have like almost 200 videos so if you people tell me why well, I only see like 8 or 12 guys you have to click in the right spot on your videos there's a couple places to get to the videos one of them only brings up a handful of videos the other one all the videos um, and my husband says I should ask you guys to subscribe that's up to you if you want to do that um, but I, I definitely want the thumbs up and uh, the notification bell so you guys know when I make recipes. And I know, want to know if you like the recipe. And I hope to hear from you guys in my comments. In the meantime, guys, I hope you liked what you saw. And if you make it, I hope you definitely like it. I think you would like it. And um, I hope to see you in the next video, guys. All right. Happy New Year's. Bye.